Class Claston, Episode 31. Question from Michael from USA. Can we do slight bending of glasses with a flat tempering line? Good question. Uh, the phenomenon that you refer to is actually called differential quenching. Uh, the process works so that when you are tempering glass, you first heat it normally, but then you are using air balance to differentially quench top and bottom side. That means that you are setting a different set point for the quenching pressure on top side uh, and on the bottom side. As a result, you will get slight bending to a flat, temper, a flat glass. Uh, about the use cases, uh, the repeatability of, uh, of that process is not nearly the same as with a bending and tempering machine. So going with this process to a high profile facade project is, is not very feasible. You can do a small, uh, slightly bent facade project even with that, uh, and then uh, perhaps a more suitable application would be like your kitchen oven door, where you want the glass always to bend on the other direction and never on the other side. So this way you are always able to make sure uh, that the glass bends on the right side. Question from Joseph from Chile. Our transformer's maximum output is 600 kilowatts, but we would like to have a tempering line of 1000 kilowatts. What can we do? Thank you for the question. Uh, that's actually a very frequent question uh, that comes to us. It's very common that these high power uh, tempering lines uh, set a so high requirement for the power that uh, our customers have difficulties in getting that to the site. Now there are a couple of options how we can overcome this challenge. If the gap is small, if I could take an example, uh, if you have available 600 uh, kilovolt amperes and then uh, the machine installed power is about 1000, uh, in that case we would uh, manage to solve that only with a loading delay. So we just delay the loadings uh, so that the heaters and the blowers don't go on at the same time. If your gap is bigger, let's say you, you can get there uh, 600 kVA, but the machine installed power is uh, 1200 or even more. Uh, in that case, we have to use also the heater limitations. So we limit from the program uh, that how many heaters are going on at the same time. This way we keep uh, the average process power lower and you can temper glass even uh, with your, uh, what you are able to get, for example, this 600 kVA. Uh, remember that this always will have an effect on their capacity when we do these limitations. <laughs> <laughs>